Hi, I'm Supermoon Tarot, and in today's video, I'm talking to my Capricorns. How are you doing, Capricorns? Are you feeling earthy? <laughs> is, that, is that too corny? Uh, don't worry about it. Let's just pretend that never happened. <laughs> We're still cool, right? Anyways, the way today's video is going to work is the first half is all going to be about your energy, the story behind that. Second half is all going to be about your energy and somebody else's energy and the story behind that. This is mostly for my sun signs, but moon and rising are always welcomed. It's just important about the message resonating. So let's get started. I shuffle the cards before videos because I take a long time to shuffle. So let's see what's going on energy wise. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay. I'm, <laughs> this is, this is awesome. This is not about energy. Uh, this is not about energy. This is actually prediction-y stuff coming in. Let me be absolutely certain about that. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm so excited. Okay. I, messages pop up as they need to. And I love this. This is about you coming into quite a lot of wealth. And who does not love to hear that? And we're going to be talking about the kind of natural road you're already on and headed towards. But what we can do to be a little more specific and nuanced in order to make that trajectory happen maybe faster or, you know, sometimes when people hear they're going to earn a lot of money, uh, it kicks in that part of your brain that wants to overthink things. And that's important to note when we have an eight of swords in reverse situation, because, um, well, you're going to be removing things in order to receive this wealth. So let's first talk about that wealth in the nine of pentacles. This can represent a couple things. Um, this can represent something to do with a business that you currently have. Um, or maybe you very quickly learn about some sort of remote type of work that you come into. But either way, this is somebody who's working for themselves. In many cases, this is about getting a big type of promotion where you don't have to, where maybe you are in charge of other people, but you have like your own office and you're away from the others. Um, you get plenty of alone time. You don't have to really answer to anyone anymore. Either way, it's extremely positive. It's a position of power and a lot of money. A lot of money is the key thing here because something I really love about the nine of pentacles and you receiving the nine of pentacles is this is somebody who's confident and has absolutely no self-doubt and therefore is giving themselves a lot of self-love by treating themselves financially. They just don't feel any reluctance or worry. So often when people spend money, they'll be like, I know it's expensive, or they'll be like, yeah, but I got it on sale, or I never do this for myself. These are not gonna be words in your vocabulary. You're not gonna necessarily be going around being like, yes, I spent this much money. It's more of a vibe of excitement of being like, yep, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I, I work hard. I earn it. This is my life now. This is the baseline. I'm very happy about it. And I, and I feel uh, loving towards myself enough to kind of, it's almost like you're reflecting back to yourself of like, good job. You did all that hard work. Let me give you a present. You know what I mean? Now, all of this is because of the eight of swords in reverse. I absolutely love this. When we're talking about this, this is about releasing self-limiting beliefs. This is somebody who finally realizes they don't need to cap the amount of success they're allowed to receive. This is someone who realizes that the only person standing in their way is themselves, whether it's their perspective of themselves and what they can achieve, um, about what they can do. Um, maybe they put themselves down in some sort of way and suddenly realizing that and removing it and then basically a flood of positive things come into your life and who doesn't love that so how do we get to the eight of swords in reverse we can get very specific here now i want to focus on um, i'm going to try to say this the best i can without being too accidentally um contradictory so get it might take me a second to get to the point but don't worry we're going to get there so the Knight of Wands is sort of the action of getting something done. Um, I want to point out it's different in this case from the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands, while both represent passion, Page of Wands is explicitly talking about like 
you finding your passion. This can represent a bunch of different things. Maybe you find a passion within your work and this gets you motivated and gets you out of your head. Maybe this is you realize you realizing what do I really want to do? What gets me excited in life? Leaving your current job, finding a personal, you know, starting your own personal business and being like, yeah, this is what I want to do and moving out in the world even if they feel they don't maybe have the most experience in this field, you know what I mean? While the Knight of Wands is the action of doing something. The Knight of Wands is interesting because it it's it, it kind of is like a compliment to you saying like when you go about moving forward in the world and getting things done in your current situation, you are not scatterbrained, you know, you have got great focus, you're pretty singular with it, and you can make things happen and you're proactive and this is a beautiful thing. However, you're kind of basically being told, and this is kind of hard for me to express, so I'll do the best I can. I'll, I, can, I, can I bet you I'll be able to get more specific as we move along. But it's kind of like you're being advised to stop like whatever you're doing on the day to day, we were like, well, at my job, I like, I'm just going about doing it. I get the tasks done. I, I, I have a good attitude about it. It's kind of like, stop giving that so much focus. What we're going to talk about next is really where you need to re-put your energy in order to get here. This is kind of like moving you forward in life, like you're moving ahead, but not necessarily progressing, if that makes sense. It's like you're getting things done, but not getting things done in the way that gets you into the future you necessarily want. And you need to stop thinking and, oh, I need to get this task done. Stop. We're going to focus our energy somewhere else, if that kind of makes sense. We... Or, or like, or in some cases, it's like, well, I, I'm, I'm focusing on the day-to-day -day tasks and, and what I need to do next, and I bring my best confidence and effort at work, and you're basically being told of being like, well, let's maybe stop thinking about that so much and think about like, well, what do you really want to do in the long term? Is this where you want to be, or do you want to be somewhere else? Do you see what I'm saying? So it kind of has a nuanced feel either way, but it's this idea of like, what you're doing is great, it's fine, but let's focus on this more. It's not about stopping doing this it's understanding if you only focus on this you take on the mindset of like well this is what I can do um, well yes I'll do that in the future and then whenever you get an opportunity to have more success you're like well I don't know if I'm ready I still have to accomplish this task you're way too in this um, in that kind of how do I express this it's like when someone is stuck in the present always thinking of the future that's the way I want to put it so let's get a little more nuanced like we talked about Again, Page of Wands is somebody who's clear about what they want to do. They're finding their passion. Again, it can be for your current situation, but it's also somebody deciding to leave their occupation and decide and, and go in something they're more interested in. But this is you going to the King of Swords and saying, okay, what is that singular hobby I love to do? Now is the time. I can make it something happen. I can start that little business. And for some of you, this is about saying, okay, I'm excited about my work again. I know what I want to do. I know how I want to focus my energy within what I'm currently doing. And, and this is specifically like, you know, the fee I'm in the right field, but this is how I want to fo focus my attention. And the King of Swords is uh, kind of the comfort of saying like, you're smart enough to you, but you need to focus on your intellect in order to uh, get forward. This is, you're focusing too much on action and like your day to day, like, again I'm, I'm not trying to like I'm just giving examples here but like let's say you're somebody like goes out and gets the copies and copyrights things and photographs things and they're basically saying pull back you have got pushed into a position you don't necessarily want to do what do you want to do if you if were in that company in that position you would most likely be working on ideas and how can you get those ideas realized and recognized by the rest of your party do you see what i'm saying um the king of swords often refers to routines and um somebody who's very strategic about how they get things done so they're working on how can they express themselves the best how can they start building on a daily routine in order to make these ideas come to life uh, you get what I'm saying so this is somebody again 
just to clarify someone figuring out like what do I want to do and then how can I bring that to light and in, in, in a vocal kind of way now the most important thing I want to talk about is not only somebody being able to comfortably speak and not feel self-conscious in order to get their ideas um, executed they don't limit themselves anymore and um, all that jazz but the devil in reverse is like an extremely positive card because it talks about you releasing some bad habits we know what those bad habits are when we talk about the self-limiting beliefs and we see you successfully opening up in this kind of way and the more you open up about what you care about and fe because this what you care about is giving you kind of the drive and motivation in order to speak up in this sort of way to execute these ideas and let people know this could be through social media this could be the people you work with whatever as you speak up and whatever and you're letting go of those beliefs um, this is kind of the confirmation that that will be going away permanently this is not going to be an issue in your life anymore and it was a huge kind of like final blockage in the way that's going to be gone and I'm just more than excited for you often um, and this is what's making me feel so tongue-tied and twisted is sometimes when we have obstacles in the way they're very abstract um, and it's not it's like we're doing the right things but the obstacles are like how we view ourselves you know what i mean it's not necessarily the obstacle of an actual person or completing the idea you're being complimented that you do that just fine you were kind of like the last thing in your own way if that makes sense but here's where it gets interesting the way that you are able to come to all of these conclusions and figure out what you want to do, how you want to express these ideas, building up the routine, and then therefore releasing all this stuff and reevaluating your stuff is by simply kind of pulling back. Definitely take time to uh, to pull away from other people right now. Um, definitely take time to just be by yourself. Think about things. Um, this is somebody who's comfortably and leisurely taking tons of naps and sleeping and and lots of self-care and self-love because the more you're kind of contemplating and being quiet and giving yourself this type of attention the more you realize it's wonderful feeling this way you can not only think better but you all this like self-care and self-love by yourself because there's so much time being isolated and and you know sleeping and stuff like that you're like what if i felt like this all the time what if i could afford to feel like this all the time and then this is what's kind of takes away that belief system of like you know what i am worth it why do i think i only need to earn this much money what if i earned this much money or this much money what if i was the boss do you see what i'm saying um that's something i really love about the four of swords when it pops up as general guidance because who doesn't love the easiest and most comforting method being the ultimate solution to a complex problem often we have to be pretty proactive and in a way there is a lot of proactiveness going on but it seems to organically pop up from all this time alone so let's talk about this other person popping in i'm already being told um to only pull four cards oh this is so cute oh i love this This is so cute. Kind of curious, but um, let's get into it. The chariot's kind of a uh, throws a lot of stuff off, but it's some good stuff to consider. So let's get into it. So the page of swords is absolutely adorable. This is them admiring you, um, thinking you're pretty, you know, cute and talented. Uh, something they really, and, and, and respect seems to be a very common thing in this, or, or perpetuated idea of importance in this relationship. See, here's you over here in the Two of Pentacles. This is you doing a great job at your work, at life. Um, this is somebody who's successfully multitasking kind of every avenue. This could be you, I mean, this. I'm trying to give you a bunch of examples, but this is somebody who maybe is like, oh yeah, I, I find it no problem to meditate 10 minutes a day and go for a little walk and, you know, I work on my hobbies and I take care of my pet and I go for you know I and I, I take care I do a good job at my work and I I'm very balanced I make it all look so effortlessly but for other people that might be a real struggle for them this part of you that's able to handle so many things so seamlessly 
you kind of look like a magician to them. Like you just kind of look so like this is somebody who's supposed to represent the idea that they're juggling the pentacles or the peace sign so to speak and this is them being like wow look at them go they're so talented they make it look so easy um we're getting the confirmation they are going out of their way to let other people know how much they like you and how cool they think you are um they only the page of swords is somebody who's thinking like best case scenario so they have a lot of above average flattering things to say about you um which i think is really beautiful and sweet like you kind of can do no wrong in their eyes so to speak now the chariot's kind of interesting d like despite all of this which is kind of funny but sometimes life has a funny way of working out um because how do i express this what feels uncomfortable now is such a positive ending the chariot is when a relationship is like you guys aren't together or you're like you're you're together but you're kind of acting like you're not together something feels like it's kind of falling apart but you haven't quite fallen apart yet, right? Totally different energy than from what we're talking about here. But it's almost like you're meant to be there in order to get here, if that makes sense. And you'll see what I'm saying in a second. So when we have the Three of Cups, it seems like you guys are going to be coming together soon. And it feels like just a time where whatever the problems were before seem to be pushed aside to just kind of, you know have a great social time with friends together, party, have fun. Um, this is like a very jovial time. It's very lighthearted. It will involve other people. So definitely invite over everybody's friends or take up an opportunity to just be social in this kind of way. Or maybe you can have like a fun movie night and order some snacks, whatever it is. It's like anything that's been kind of keeping you guys distant from what spirit's telling me in many cases this is like when it's an accidental reluctance in the relationship or neglect where you're just kind of like not really giving each other that sort of like love you deserve and relationships are really gardens that need to be continuously tended and you're kind of both of you aren't really giving it the time and attention it deserves it accidentally can happen sometimes you don't mean to you get caught up in other things or maybe there's some infighting going on and, and you still care about each other enough to stick around but something just is off essentially so this is you just kind of having fun and and having a good time and it just seems to solve everything because we have this very beautiful intense energy coming in from both sides come uh, from both you and them both of you are approaching each other with such excitement and vitality really being vocal about how much you care about each other it's um a really no hold barred honesty session but it doesn't feel like it's an honesty session about being like we need to work out problems um let's talk about this it's like all the problems get solved by both of you being so complimentary to one another it's like saying i love you i miss you i i want to be with you more and them going yeah i think so highly of you well then why did you do that i don't know i'm scared but then quickly going back to the like and i just think you're so amazing and then you're like oh well, i think you are so amazing it's it's um it's very vibrant it's going to be a, a quick 180 from where it was at before it's going to go from disconnection to like a complimentary session and they've been thinking very highly of you for a while i kind of wonder if the disjointedness in the chariot is coming from the two of pentacles where it's like maybe you guys have been so busy that it has and you're trying to like you know handle all the various things you're doing in life and and often the two of pentacles can talk about both home life and work life and it, there's this disjointedness and while you might be feeling this disjointedness they still think very highly of you and kind of admire you for it so ultimately um it seems like everything's gonna be solved even though there actually really wasn't that much of a problem to begin with if that makes sense just by a fun hangout social session you can choose to do this with other people if you want or it can be with the two of you but this is somebody who's not saying hey you want to watch a movie it's like hey you want to watch a movie i'll get the snacks let's order a pizza let's get balloons let's make this like a little themed fun night do you see what I'm saying? So I'm excited for you. This is, you've got money, you've got a compliment session coming your way. I mean, I, I don't know about you, but that's kind of like, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good time. 
<laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel like you would not believe. Have a lovely day. I will see you in the next one. Bye!